time for Teacher of the Month, and October's honoree comes from a Romeo Middle, Romeoville Middle School, yeah. I should say. WJN's Gander Hall introduces us to social studies teacher Mark Levine. Students say Mr. Levine is pushing them beyond their limits. He calls his approach LRC, based on listening to his students, respecting them, and challenging them. What did you figure out, Josh? Inside Mr. Mark Levine's classroom, I don't talk down to them, I talk with them. There's a collaborative exchange of ideas. My students aren't going to learn if I'm just talking at them. If my students are talking with me, and if my students are doing, that's when the learning happens. He's the honors social studies teacher for 7th and 8th graders at Lucansic Middle School in Romeoville. Before we even get to the academic side, I want them to know who they are. I want them to have an idea of what their worldview is. And I want them to feel empowered to speak their mind and have their opinions. In parentheses, know how to do research to support their opinions. Mr. Levine has been teaching for more than 20 years. Earlier, he had a career as a psychotherapist. Skills he puts to good use. It gives me a little bit of an edge to understand what makes kids tick. With a lot of listening and a bit of humor. They're supposed to build this beautiful fort and all they got is a tiny little fence with a tiny little house. He's boosting their academic confidence and building connections to help students understand history through the lens of various perspectives. How did the French communicate with the Native Americans? My students come up with ideas and opinions and perspectives that teach me. They, uh, th through the years, I learned more from my students than I could ever begin to teach them. And they teach me how to teach them better. I heard that the British and the French, they, they, they fought differently. Uh, they had different ways of fighting. Seventh grader Caitlin Reese says Mr. Levine's classes are engaging and exciting. And he like completely changed my view on social studies. He treats us as equals, like, oh no, he doesn't like dilute the topics. She nominated him for Teacher of the Month. I want to say thank you for being such a great teacher. All of his kids as their... Uh... Mr. Levine's reputation extends beyond just the students in his class. For whatever reason, um, since becoming a teacher, students have found some sort of sanctuary with me and a sense of safety, whether it's students going through rough times and coming and crying, sometimes students that I don't even have. They just know my reputation. For the past many years, I've had between uh, 18 and 20 students come out to me as part of the LGBTQ community. That fills my cup. That makes me feel like my purpose in life has, has been realized. Award sponsor Ankin Law presented Mr. Levine with a $1,000 check for the school. My heart just filled with, with, with love and warmth. He says he's bursting with appreciation right. for his students right. who have wow. been very vocal so in showing their appreciation for him. And that's what's been happening all day today is kids high-fiving me and running up and hugging me and telling me that, you know, I deserve this. Uh, uh, that's pretty powerful and, and, and pretty wonderful. Fantastic. Congratulations. Uh, Thank you so much. Mr. Levine wants to use the award money to help with literacy building at the school. If you know of an extraordinary teacher who deserves to be honored, let us know. Head to WGNTV.com to submit a nomination for Teacher of the Month. Gaynor Hall, WGN News. Thanks for that, Gaynor. Well, President Biden